Tequila uh, more so has the background in it, so go mm -hmm. ahead. I, I had a fragrance line in the past, so I, I, I don't know if you would call that inventing, but I definitely was working in the creative arena with new products. But I found the fragrance industry to be very saturated, very celebrity driven, and um, in order to come up with a new product that really is going to stand out, it needed to be more innovative. And Sarah actually told me, she said, I just love the Huggable Hanger. It's the number one, Huggable Hanger is the number one selling item on yeah. HSN. And she told me we need to reinvent a household staple. We need to think of something that is a problem in your everyday life and come up with a solution for it. And then what happened was I have dogs. I have three dogs, little dogs. And in the process of training the new one, all of my carpet was ruined. And I spent hundreds of dollars looking for you know the best miracle cleaner to try to get the smell out of the carpet and nothing worked. So my carpet was ruined. Yes, all of ours has been, yes, of ours has been ruined. So I replaced all of my carpet with um, hard surface flooring, but then I, I couldn't buy a rug because the, I bought a rug and I, you know, spent a little bit of money on it and one accident and the rug was ruined. One accident by the dogs, right? One accident by the dogs. You can replace it with whatever you want, but the dogs still need to go on right. carpet. And they, you know. Yesterday that brought us like a simulated Right. So, again, so back to the room. I wanted a little bit about the functionality. Sure. Too. Sure. Um, I don't know if you guys. But it, it's not. It's. I just want to clarify. It's not just for pets, right? right. Because Sarah doesn't have pets, and right. it reduces allergens in the home. Uh, my sister has two toddlers, and their bottles are constantly leaking, which uh -huh. turns into sour milk. I don't know if you've ever smelt that. But that gets on rugs also. So there's a wide wide range of, of uses for it. And it's very expensive to have, you would say, your beautiful wool area rug. It's very expensive to have a professional clean. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, it takes sometimes a long time for a professional cleaner to come in and you can, in the meantime, deal with the stain and the smell or whatever it is. Or you can try to spot clean it, which, you know, again, it's not a, not a very good solution. Right. Mm -hmm. so so, so what have you guys come up with so, as a solution? Okay, yeah, great. So here we are. Here we are. All the spots in my house are such a disaster. Right, right, right. Like, Show them the okay. stain. Oh, yeah. So, by the way, we just noticed when we put our rug down. Yeah. Look at this. It's hiding the stain. It's me. So, we know. <laughs> so, what do you expect? Yeah, so you, we know that this happens and it's right. going to. And, and, you know, here you are. You're at a, at a show and there's no way that you're going to be able to just, you know, quickly and immediately try to get this out. But, um, anyway, so we put this beautiful rug here and I'm so glad you've got this you can see the couch here there's two components and this underlying foam mat is naturally non-slip non-absorbent so it won't hold the stains it's easy to wipe off so this comes together so you've got uh -huh. the rug and it's mm -hmm. on top of and look what how would normally be a oh, mm -hmm. so you and look how easily it attaches and detaches so, you know, you just flip it down, it goes right back on. So it eliminates the need for a rug pad, which I know I, I don't really have rugs or didn't have rugs before before this because of the dogs. But she had rugs and you have to cut the rug pad to fit and then it still is constantly being exposed outside of the rug. So you don't need a rug pad, it doesn't slip, it doesn't shift or bunch. Um, but you also, you have a lot of versatility. So normally people will have a neutral colored couch. Normally you would have a, a neutral colored couch. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, because I see you've got a couple different designs here, and they could go right. with anything. Mm -hmm. We have, you know, this is this is more traditional, and if you feel this, it definitely feels. Okay. It has a, a certain substantial mm -hmm. feel to it, but this would fit in a washing machine. This one over here, the 8x10, fits in a stackable washing machine, which is... Tell them how light that is. I mean, you're lifting it there, and, and it, this is an 8x10 rug. When could you ever lift an 8x10 rug off of a couch? I mean, so, it's just so easy to fit in your car. Do they come with piece that goes underneath it, right? Mm -hmm. Each individual rug and comes right. in one of those. Mm -hmm. But once you have this foam mat, right, if you want to change it out, let's say for the seasons or for the holidays, mm -hmm. if you're a big, I, I love to decorate for the holidays. Right. So let's say, you know, it's Christmas and you want to decorate your home in red. Right. You could buy a solid red rug or a holiday collection and put it put it down over the rubber mat that you already have. Right. And it's an inexpensive way to completely mm -hmm. change the look of your right. room. Or yesterday, someone stopped by our booth yesterday and he said, I would buy two of the exact exact same rug cover so that I could put the clean one down while the other one's being laundered. 
So, so you can get the covers separately. Yes, from you can buy additional drawer. covers. And mm -hmm. they all can go in the washing machine. Right, right. Uh, and that's the other thing. Machine, that's yeah. the other thing is in the event that you have a child with a permanent marker or you spill nail polish all over the fabric cover, all you have to do is replace the fabric cover. And they're very affordable, uh, designer quality with mass market appeal. Right. Yeah. So it's, it's just a great solution. Again, it's a problem-solving solution for an average. It's, it's basically reinventing the rug. There's nothing else like it. I, I think it's completely changing, mm -hmm. obviously, the way that you think about it. Mm -hmm. When we were looking at blankets, same thing. It's something that can easily change the room, change the liquor room, so it's functional. Yeah. Right. It's obviously fixing a problem that we all have, mm -hmm. whether it's stains, spots, coffee on the rug. Mm -hmm. Red dog, wine. Red we wine, yeah. anything else. And we didn't even eliminate really, it. We didn't even bring up the whole the bath mat mm. side of it too, which this can replace anything from a bath mat to a large area rug. And the bath mat, I'm sure, you know, you, we probably all bought bath mats right. with the rubber backing underneath. You throw it in the washer, let's say, after a few washings, that rubber starts coming off, it gets in your washing machine, gets all over your floor, becomes annoying. And if you don't buy the rubber backing, then you've got your rugs slipping all over your bathroom floor. It can create a safety hazard. And so with this, basically, again, you just take off the top cover, put it in your washing machine, and you put it right back down on your floor. And it doesn't slip. Yeah. How did you guys come up with the patterns? We, the just, uh, we looked at a lot of the things that were already on the market. Mm -hmm. And we knew that most people, when they're looking at a large area rug, they want something that's a little more traditional looking. So the traditional patterns kind of reflect a larger area rug. Uh, this, Go ahead. Oh, well, well, right now we're not we're not showing all the variations right, that we have. Sure. We have That's solid better. color. We have faux chenille. We have much more traditional imitations of your very classic Persian Oriental rugs. Right. We'll be able to imitate that as well um, for if you're if you have a very classical home. Mm -hmm. um, but this is you know these are some trendsetters. Right. Um, we wanted to, you know, make sure that we, we hit all the key areas so that everyone can enjoy right. using sure. the technology. All the types of rooms. Mm -hmm. I know you're a big marketer, big yeah. brandy person. What's kind of the strategy? Are you guys thinking commercial, the home shopping arenas, online? What are you guys thinking? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, first of all, we're already taking orders, so um, so, <laughs> so we have to sell. Yeah, it's a good thing. so yes. yeah, <laughs> so we have we have our website, thewashablerug.com, for people who just have to have it right now. Right. But we really feel that the product is best suited for on-air sales, right. so that we can demonstrate it. Uh, we, we'd love right. to uh, find a partnership with an on-air uh, channel right. and be able to show it and, and talk about it because there's so many different avenues. I love the versatility. I I would. I would love to be able to use a bold pattern like this, um, but then when you're tired of it, I'd love to have the option to just switch it out with something a little bit more um, sophisticated, you could say, or seasonally. I like to brighten up my room in the spring and I like to darken it in the fall. So I love that avenue. So there's so many different avenues and it's definitely not just a pet product, but it's great for pets. It's great for busy households. The majority of households, believe it or not, from a lot of the pet products I've learned, a lot of the mm -hmm. statistics, majority of the households have at least one pet. Right, right. And regardless right. of how well trained they are or not, you're there are still going to have accidents. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've mm -hmm. spilled, you can see we've spilled all over mm -hmm. this carpet today. Right. We've had anything, I like how you use the analogy of red wine, crayons, mm -hmm. and just the ability and to be able to change the room. And allergens and, and dust. Yep. Uh, my brother was telling us a funny story about how it reminds him of, you know, when you see a lady whacking the, the rug off the balcony the and all the dust, dust right. goes everywhere. You and can so the dog hair that come off my Exactly, eye too. exactly. So everywhere. now you put it in the dryer and it, you know, picks all of that up right. and you put it back down. And it's easy. Mm -hmm. What's the price point in comparison to a traditional rugs of these size? Mm -hmm. Affordable, more expensive? Mm -hmm. It's actually going to be priced. There's, there's different types of rugs mm -hmm. and we're all familiar with those kind of cotton lightweight, yep. more like throw rugs, but you can buy them in different sizes, mm -hmm. uh, more affordable, let's say, than a traditional wool rug, Right. Uh, but it's going to be priced right in between those, so okay. it's very similar to what you see right now in Target, uh, you know, the more affordable retail right. stores. Mm -hmm. Good. So, yeah, so definitely mass great. market. And that's for the whole thing. The fabric I covers know. themselves are going to be much less expensive. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, it's unique, it's different, it solves an easy problem. This would be great for television. I know you've been mm -hmm. through that before. It's easily demonstrable and as we've seen all of these products mm. the wow factor is right and you, you see you peeling apart a rug everyone's kind of like what's that for? right right <laughs> it is patent pending too which i know is kind of fun for on air yep. um we did uh, th this fabric is um a year in the making it has a special coating to be stain resistant also okay. so if you if you catch the stain right away you can you can wipe it up uh, more easily right. um it doesn't have the fiber fiber you know, natural makeup of carpet where it sinks right down right. below. 
so kind of stay on the surface a little bit. And uh, also the mat has that uh, nice grip that we've worked on for a, a long time, and so we're really excited about that. You've done your research. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you're in the rug industry. We've tested it. I've we had, are. I've had our rugs on my kitchen floor now for <laughs> almost a year. I know. I'm so. afraid you guys are going to have to leave this one here now. We've made some <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. You're staying. Right. Well, it was great. And you have a booth here this week? We do. Okay. We do. Mm -hmm. good. Well, it was good meeting you. This good meeting you, too. Too. Thanks so much. I know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good seeing you, too. Thank you. I was telling them earlier when we've been vlogging live on Live Marshall, um, one of the most unique jobs about my job being the past couple days is meeting everybody and their backstories of why they got started, how they got started, whether they were in the industry, let's say you came from the carpet industry, or you had a personal experience that, well, I know it's going to change my life. Why wouldn't it change everybody else's? So right. I've been thanking them all yeah. for their inventions and <laughs> creativity. Like Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I know it's hard. Everyone has ideas, but mm. never really implemented it. Mm -hmm. really done that, so. oh, nice Thank job. you so much. Thank you so much.